2 Chronicles chapter 34 begins, Josiah was eight years old when he became king, and he reigned thirty-one years in Jerusalem. And he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, and walked in the ways of his father David. He did not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. For in the eighth year of his reign, while he was still young, he began to seek the God of his father David. And in the twelfth year he began to purge Judah and Jerusalem of the high places, the wooden images, the carved images, and the molden images. They broke down the altars of the Baals in his presence, and the incense altars which were above them he cut down, and the wooden images, the carved images, and the molded images he broke in pieces, and made dust of them, and scattered it on the graves of those who had sacrificed to them. He also burned the bones of the priests on the altars, and cleansed Judah and Jerusalem. And so he did in the cities of Manasseh, Ephraim and Simeon, as far as Naphtali, and all around with axes. When he had broken down the altars and the wooden images, had beaten the carved images into power, and cut down all the incense altars throughout all the land of Israel, he returned to Jerusalem. My name's Arthur and I thank you for joining me as we share together from Second Chronicles chapter 34. Hezekiah had led a great revival back to the Lord, but it was short-lived. When his son Manasseh took the throne, he promptly rebuilt all the high places, set up images all around the place, indulged himself and anyone who protested against him, he murdered them. And he reigned for 55 years. So we have a whole generation of people who had not known the joy and prosperity that had accompanied walking with the Lord in the days of Hezekiah. Manasseh, at the end of his reign, was taken captive to Babylon. And there he realized that he had taken the wrong path. And he pleaded with the God of Israel, who heard him and restored him to Jerusalem. And he tried to undo what he'd done. Although he destroyed some of the idols, he was not very effective at it. When he died, his son Ammon took over, and Ammon followed the way, the original way of his father, worshipping at the high places and all the idols. He was assassinated. Now Josiah, at age eight, his son is made king. In the early years of his reign, obviously, the old men of the kingdom would have ruled the nation. Josiah would have been at school. Being king, he would have been at the senior school. And this was the same time as Jeremiah was at school as well. Isaiah, the great prophet, had died during the reign of Hezekiah. Others had prophesied in the interim. The Lord had declared through Isaiah that if the people turned away, they would be exiled. They had turned away, and so they would be exiled. Nevertheless, Josiah, learning these things, at the age of 16, sets his heart to seek the Lord. And at the age of 20, he begins to clean up the spiritual worship of Judah, extending to the kingdom of Israel, because there's now a bit of a power vacuum up there. The Assyrians had taken over and taken the people away and returned other people to the land. And so he seeks to have an influence for God in the northern kingdom as well. In the 18th year of his reign, that's when he was 26, when he had purged the land and the temple, he sent Shaphan the son of Azaliah, Marsira the governor of the city, and Joah the son of Jehoaz the recorder, to repair the house of the Lord his God. When they came to Hilkiah the high priest, they delivered the money that was brought into the house of God, which the Levites who kept the doors had gathered from the hand of Manasseh and Ephraim, from all the remnant of Israel, from all Judah and Benjamin, and which they had brought back to Jerusalem. Then they put it in the hand of the foreman who had the oversight of the house of the Lord, and they gave it to the workmen who worked in the house of the Lord to repair and restore the house. They gave it to the craftsmen and the builders to buy hewn stone and timber for beams and to floor the houses which the kings of Judah had destroyed. And the men did the work faithfully. 
their overseers were Jahath and Obadiah the Levites, of the sons of Merari and Zechariah and Meshalem, of the sons of the Kohathites, to supervise. Others of the Levites, all of whom were skilful with instruments of music, were over the burden bearers and were overseers of all who did work in any kind of service. And some of the Levites were scribes, officers and gatekeepers. Now when they brought out the money that was brought, that was brought into the house of the Lord, Hilkiah the priest found the book of the law of the Lord given by Moses. Then Hilkiah answered and said to Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, and Shaphan carried the book to the king, bringing the king word, saying, All that was committed to your servants they are doing, and they have gathered the money that was found in the house of the Lord, and have delivered it into the hand of the overseers and the workmen. Then Shaphan the scribe told the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest has given me a book, and Shaphan read it before the king. Thus it happened when the king heard the words of the law that he tore his clothes. Then the king commanded Hilkiah, Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, Abdon, the son of Micah, Shaphan, the scribe, and Azariah, the servant of the king, saying, Go, inquire of the Lord for me, and for those who are left in Israel and Judah, concerning the words of the book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is poured out on us, because our fathers have not kept the word of the Lord, to do according to all that is written in this book. So Hilkiah and those the king had appointed went to Huldah the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tokath, the son of Hazra, keeper of the wardrobe. She dwelt in Jerusalem in the second quarter, and they spoke to her to that effect. Then she answered them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Tell the man who sent you to me, thus says the Lord. Behold, I will bring calamity to this place and on its inhabitants, all the curses that are written in the book which they have read before the king of Judah, because they have forsaken me and burned incense to other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath will be poured out on this place and not be quenched. But as for the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord, in this manner, you shall speak to him. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Concerning the words that you have heard, because your heart was tender, and you humbled yourself before God when you heard his words against this place and against its inhabitants, and you humbled yourself before me, and you tore your clothes and wept before me, I also have heard you, says the Lord. Surely I will gather you to your fathers, and you shall be gathered to your grave in peace, and your eyes shall not see all the calamity which I will bring on this place and its inhabitants. So they brought back word to the king. Then the king sent and gathered all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem. The king went up to the house of the Lord with all the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the priests and the Levites and all the people great and small. And he read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant which had been found in the house of the Lord. Then the king stood in his place and made a covenant before the Lord to follow the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and all his soul to perform the words of the covenant that were written in this book. And he made all who were present in Jerusalem and Benjamin take a stand. So the inhabitants of Jerusalem did according to the covenant of God the God of their fathers. Thus Josiah removed all the abominations from all the country that belonged to the children of Israel and made all who were present in Israel diligently serve the Lord their God. All his days he did not depart from following the Lord God of their fathers. In the book of Deuteronomy we find the words You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength words that Jesus took up as summarising the whole law. And these words are reflected in the covenant Josiah made with the people to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and all his soul, to perform the words of the covenant that are written in this book. And that is the response we should make. Hear the word of the Lord and commit ourselves to doing his word.